Hello, I'm Sheriff Pat Garrett. This video is designed to introduce you to jail rules and what you can expect for living conditions and treatment. It also explains some of your rights and the positive adult behavior we expect from you. You can expect fair and equal treatment from us and respect for your rights. It is our job to keep you safe and secure. It's your job to help us keep you safe by following all jail rules, being aware of what's going on around you, and communicating concerns or questions to jail staff in a respectful manner. It's important you pay attention to this video because it will explain how you can access educational programs, become an inmate worker, and be housed at the Community Corrections Work Release Center. You will also learn of the rules for visiting, how to send and receive mail, use a kiosk, access health services, and learn about our zero tolerance policy on sexual misconduct, harassment, or retaliation, and other policies designed to keep you safe. We encourage positive adult behavior. We will hold you accountable for your actions. If you violate a jail rule, we will impose one or more disciplinary sanctions. Sanctions can limit your access to recreational activities, programs, or other privileges. If you're ever in doubt about what to do, it's your responsibility to ask a deputy. You can make your stay here more pleasant if you carefully follow all rules and instructions. Thank you for listening. Here at the Washington County Jail, opposite gender staff members will be working in your housing unit. This facility has a zero tolerance policy concerning any form of sexual misconduct by anyone in the jail. That includes sexual abuse, sexual harassment, or sexual contact with another person. This includes inmates, staff, or visitors. Sexual misconduct between any person in the jail, even if considered consensual, is prohibited. We expect you to report sexual misconduct immediately if you are a victim or a witness to such conduct. You may report it verbally by telling any staff member or on the jail phone system's PREA hotline. You can report it in writing by any means, inmate request form, health request, the grievance process, a note to the pod deputy, or a letter to a jail official. Please use the method with which you feel most comfortable. You may report in confidence or anonymously and be free from retaliation. We take these reports seriously and investigate. We will discipline you if you make a false report on purpose. We also have a zero tolerance policy for retaliation against those who report sexual abuse, sexual harassment, or sexual misconduct. Safety and security is the Washington County Jail's top priority. This includes keeping each individual housed safely. If you are having thoughts of suicide or harming yourself or others, notify a staff member immediately. If you hear someone talking about committing suicide or see a person attempting to harm themselves, notify any staff member right away. You can find most information about jail rules and your rights as an inmate in one of these inmate manuals. They're regularly updated and can be found in your pod or as an electronic version on the kiosks found in each housing unit. Here are some of your basic rights as an inmate. You have the right to emergency medical, dental, and mental health care. The jail provides three meals a day that meet established nutritional standards. You have the right to reasonable visitation and telephone contact with your attorney. And in some cases, if you're unrepresented, you have the right to reasonable access to available legal materials. You also have the right to freedom of religious affiliation and individual practice of worship. Your rights are protected by law and may only be taken away from you when there is a legitimate jail safety and security reason to do so. The jail can control how and when you may exercise your rights, so we can protect the rights of all inmates and ensure the safety and security of the facility. Other than the rights we just explained, the jail offers a variety of privileges to inmates who demonstrate they can follow the rules. Failure to follow the rules may result in the loss of privileges, disciplinary action, or even criminal prosecution. You will be held accountable for your behavior, and your actions will determine your housing condition. In most housing units, the lights come on about 5 a.m. You'll be offered the opportunity to shower and on most days use a razor during the half hour before breakfast. Lights are controlled by jail staff and should not be turned on or off without permission. They generally stay on during the hours of 5 a.m. and 10 p.m. We expect you to keep your living areas clean and sanitary at all times. Inmates are encouraged to shower every day, but at least twice a week. Do not damage or mark any jail-issued clothing. You must wear sizes that fit you properly. Shower shoes should only be worn in the shower. 
You have been issued a jail spoon that you can use during meal service. It is your responsibility to keep it and return it upon release from this facility. If you damage or lose your spoon, you may be required to pay for a replacement. As we have mentioned, safety and security is a top priority. Here's a few things you'll need to know. Jail staff will conduct scheduled and unscheduled head counts. Do not ask the deputy questions during a count. You were issued a wristband during booking. You must wear your wristband at all times. You are subject to frisk, rub, or strip search at any time, and may be asked to submit to a random drug test. Inmates moving to destinations outside the pod will follow this procedure. Deputies will call you out of your cell and place you in the pod's vestibule. Do not press the buttons in the vestibule. Master Control will instruct you on what to do. When in the corridor, walk single file on the right-hand side with your hands at your side. Do not talk, make gestures, or pass notes while moving through the corridor. Day rooms and individual cells are equipped with intercom systems. To speak with a deputy, press the button one time. Wait for a response from staff. You do not need to press the button to talk. Misuse of the intercom system could result in disciplinary action. Contraband of any kind is not allowed inside your cell. Anything not issued by this facility, not purchased from commissary, not authorized in the inmate manual, or anything that has been altered from its original design is considered contraband. Also, you are not allowed to go into or near the door of another inmate's assigned cell. For safety and security reasons, staff may inspect and search your living area at any time and will remove any contraband in your cell. Do not cover your lights or air vents. It is up to you to know the rules and keep your cell clean and free of contraband. Restricted areas are marked in the day rooms with yellow and black striped tape on the floors. Do not cross these markings without staff permission. When given the command to sell in, you must do so immediately without question. In the event of an emergency, follow the directions of the pod deputy. Failure to do so could result in disciplinary action or even criminal prosecution. There are a large number of programs and services available to you here at the Washington County Jail. Here's what you need to know in order to make the most of your time here. First off, mail. Inmates may send and receive mail through the U.S. Postal Service, including letters, postcards, books, magazines, and newspapers. All publications must come directly from the publisher or other online bookstore. Other mail rules. You may not send or receive mail from inmates at another correctional or treatment facilities. For safety and security reasons, we may open and inspect all incoming and outgoing mail. We may read your personal mail, but your legal mail to or from your attorney, the courts, or confinement officials is private. We will open and inspect legal and official mail in front of you. Also, legal mail must be labeled properly or we will treat it as personal mail. Warning, you may be subject to disciplinary action and criminal prosecution for fraudulently labeling an envelope as legal or official mail. Refer to your inmate manual for more specific rules in regards to sending and receiving mail. Inmates may have social visits with family, friends, and others while in custody. During your classification interview, you will receive a form to request visitors. Once your visitors are approved, you can have a total of two social visits per week, one hour in length. In addition to social visiting, the jail offers video visits using kiosks in each housing unit. Video visits are available for a fee and generally last about 30 minutes. Visits are recorded and can be monitored. The kiosks also offer a host of other services, including messaging, limited internet access, and commissary. Commissary is delivered once a week and is a privilege for inmates who follow the rules. Commissary includes snacks, personal hygiene items like soap, lotion, and shampoo, envelopes, writing supplies, and drawing pads. Family and friends may put money on your inmate account either in person at the sheriff's office or by mail. If you have any jail-related concerns that cannot be resolved with your pod deputy first, you can file a grievance using your pod kiosk. The jail has telephones available for outgoing calls only. The phones do not belong to the Washington County Jail and are provided by a contracted company. Calls can be made by using money from your inmate account, prepaid phone account, or collect. The person you are calling must accept the call before it will be connected. The telephone provider may charge your account a sizable fee if you attempt to make any three-way calls, and you could be subject to disciplinary action if you attempt to make a three-way call. All calls made from the Washington County Jail, except to attorneys on a blocked line, are monitored and recorded. They may be shared with law enforcement and may be used in criminal or civil proceedings. By using the telephone, you are agreeing to these conditions. Most attorneys are set up with speed dials that are automatically blocked from recording and are free of charge. 
A list of attorney speed dials, including parole and probation, is posted on your pod bulletin board. You are allowed one transaction to release your personal property to someone outside the jail. You can release money as well, but you must keep at least $20 on your account to cover any incidental charges. A separate form needs to be completed for both property and money releases. They are available from your pod deputy. Programs are an important part of the Washington County Jail, and we have several programs that may be available to you. In fact, just having good behavior and following the jail rules can take time off your sentence. Another way you can get time off your sentence is by becoming an inmate worker. Eligible inmates can work in the housing units, laundry, the jail kitchen, and more. Becoming an inmate worker is a privilege and is based on your classification level and behavior. You may be eligible to finish your sentence at the Community Correction Center, a work release program run by parole and probation across the street from the jail. There's also EHD, or Electronic Home Detention Program, which monitors inmates at home with an ankle bracelet. Refer to your inmate manual for specific eligibility requirements for these programs. Classroom-style programs are also available to eligible inmates. Some of those include cognitive classes about attitudes and beliefs, GED and other educational classes, parenting, employment, computers, violence support and prevention groups, substance abuse groups such as Alcoholics Anonymous. There are also Bible studies and other faith-based programs available. If you're interested, fill out a voluntary activity request form. If you're interested in recommended programs, send an inmate request form to the programs department. Your arraignment is your first court appearance. Arraignments for the Washington County Circuit Court are Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Inmates who have no money or ability to pay for an attorney may apply for one at public expense. There are some options for getting out of jail. You can be released on your own recognizance, which means you are released on your promise to appear in court. That decision is up to the court staff. You may also be eligible for conditional release, which means you must agree to certain conditions set by the judge and agree to appear in court. And finally, you may post bail, which is usually 10% of your security amount. Bail is accepted 24 hours a day at the front records office. Remember, whatever happens to you in court is between you, your attorney, and the judge. The jail is only responsible for your safety and security. Your inmate manual contains more details about the jail and can answer many of your questions. Remember, you will be treated according to how you follow the rules and procedures we've just explained to you. It is up to you and your behavior while lodged here at the jail to earn the privileges and benefits available. 